All right, everybody. So I'm fired up this morning over this. I don't know if you guys heard about this thing. It's called the COPPA Act, all right? Child Online Protection Act or whatever. So basically these senators and these politicians, and I hate to get into it, and YouTube itself have gone and sold a bunch of kids data to all these companies, and now the FTC and them want to come down on us creators over some stuff we didn't even do. Strong penalties in future cases against content creators as, as, and channel owners um, as well. So if you like, you know, funny videos of people catching fish with cool fishing lures that we had when we were kids, or going after something with a Daffy Duck pole, or even catching a fish in a gutter with a, a rocket fishing pole like Monster Mike. This rocket fishing rod always catches monsters. Well, this is gonna pertain to all of us. If you've got a favorite vlog channel where there's a kid in the video, or if there's a child actor like that one channel that cuts stuff open just for fun, well, this video is gonna talk about what us creators go through on a daily basis to keep up with all this political garbage and stuff that YouTube wants to talk about. And I'm just fed up about it, so I feel like I'd talk about it. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So if you guys wanna know about what us creators are gonna go through in the next few years to keep up with this stuff, tune right in, cause here we go. So I'm joining the crusade with Daryl Eves and Roberto Blake and all these guys out there that are leading the fight on this COP Act stuff. <laughs> uh, not only can we sue Google and YouTube for compliance with COPPA, but also individual channel owners and content creators. In I did a good video on this the other day. Actually, it was yesterday, breaking down this whole COP Act. And YouTube is the barrel and the content creators are the fish front in the in, in the COPPA enforcement. And to break down the nuts and bolts of this Barney Stiles, us guys in the military would have said, if, if a child under 13 could be attracted to your content, the FTC says basically, we can fine you $42,000 per event that we noticed this happening. So let's say you make a video. I decide I want to take a Daffy Duck pole and go out and catch a redfish. And, and that Daffy Duck pole and the FTC says could attract a kid under 13 years old and I didn't mark the video for that. I never make content for little kids. I mean, if they watch it, cool. I mean, I just try to make cool content, which younger people, if you're out there, I'm not hating on you. I'm just saying that the law has said we can't do this. They said you have to mark it as such for, for under 13 and if you don't, we can fine you $42,000. And instead of YouTube like leading the fight on this, they said us content creators are responsible. We didn't sell the data, they did. And that really grinds my gears. So let's, uh, let's take another look at this. If you like channels like the Arms Family Homestead, great wholesome family channel with great content. Houston that is technically a, a, a young actor, which is not fair to say that just because he wants to be in a video with his dad, he's now a child actor and now violating the FTC. Or if you watch uh, any of some of the Guggen Squad stuff where they're making funny viral videos, an old guy in office could say, that's targeting children because you used a GI Joe with a set of hooks on it. That's pertaining to a kid under 13. The rules are so vague that literally I cannot sit here and say I can do this or I can't do that. You could just be a dude trying to make a fun video and somebody say that's that's uh, that's towards a child. And the lawyers are saying it's so vague too. And you know what YouTube told us? Hey, just go see a lawyer. Like we got money for that. I mean, we just don't have money to go. And most of, there's not a lawyer in my town that can tell you anything about YouTube. There's not a lawyer probably in the, in, in the next 500 miles around here that knows anything about YouTube and YouTube law. That's insane. Like this whole thing is, is like a senator said, we're gonna protect the children. Not saying that's a bad thing, but then they just blanket everything. So how is this gonna affect YouTube? Okay, let's think about this. Your end screens are gonna go away if you say that the video is for under, under, kids under 13 or the channel's for under 13. End screens go away. Monetization going down like 90%. Really, it's going to zero. Uh, you can't be recommended. Uh, they can't sell personal ads to your channel, which means channel makes no money. So anybody that like the shark, 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 
that thing's gone. If it's a Minecraft, uh, uh, any of the family vlog channels, technically those are those are out too. If you had a kid in the video, that's out too. If there's a picture of Shrek on that wall, you could be in trouble too. This is so vague that nobody understands it. Nobody. So the only way we can make money doing this as YouTubers is we get ad revenue. It's just YouTube runs ads on our videos. We don't get to pick whatever they get to they decide to do and then we get a kickback on the amount of uh, attention, watch time, and, and, and views we get. That's it. That's the only way to make, make these videos. To make these videos, it takes money, it takes time, it takes effort. Just like broadcast television, just like some big news channel or some other channel, that's the only way that we can make money, unless it's with a brand deal, Patreon, something like that, affiliate links. But it takes money to make these videos. It takes gas to put in a truck to go fishing or pay for bait or fishing and gear or uh, if you want to buy something and break it, to make a video, to review it, buy products to review. The content has to be made. It, it, it's expensive. So, and then you got to pay people to help you edit or create things. And, you know, I, I'm just, I'm grateful to be a YouTuber, but when politicians get involved because they want to, you know, jump into a world they know nothing about and don't know the cascading events of what legislation that is vaguely written and loosely applied to only certain people they want to make uh, an example of, that's just not fair. And us to sit here and take a chance of getting fined over something, that's why content changes. First it was firearms, violence, and then it was you know, terrorism, and then it was all these uh, ad apocalypse, and then it was all these other things. YouTube is losing its mind with what used to be just a dude in his camera doing you on tube, doing you too. And it, it, it's just like gotten, I was just fired up this morning when I heard this stuff come down the line. So like, let's say you are a kid, you know, let's say you're 14 and you're, you want to pick up your iPhone and upload a video and a 13 year old could watch that video, boom, you're in trouble. Let's say you're 13, 14, 15, and you wanna talk about Minecraft, or you wanna talk about uh, a toy review or something, something you got for Christmas and you were really excited about it and you just wanna hit upload, boom, you could get hit with a $40,000 fine. This is ridiculous. I, I really hope people will go online and sign the petition. I'll link it down below to kind of fight this because senators are even trying to put into legislation that if it, somebody under 18 is in a video, YouTube can't rec recommend it or, or run any ads on or anything. That's ridiculous. I mean, like, how far are we gonna take this? The FTC says that, I'm gonna put it like right here, these are the things that uh, could be seen as marketing towards children. Music, sports, uh, um, anything with a child actor or a, uh, an actor that kids might know. These things, like, it, it is so vague. There's no way for any YouTuber, like if, if a YouTuber loves talking about Legos, you know, there's a lot of adults out there that watch train channels and watch uh, Legos and comic books and things like that and to say that all of a sudden that would be pertaining to kids just blanket carry like that is not fam fair for every creator out there and all the companies that are attached to these things I mean if you want to talk about Star Wars technically we could say that is uh, that's under 13 you want to talk about video games that's under 13 like literally I probably anything other than guns like where you've got to be over 21 to purchase like it's beyond me but i wanted to bring attention to this comment down below i know some of you won't understand this but this is some things that are hitting the wire for us and as a vlog channel these are things that affect me and if you wonder why content changes on youtube on a regular basis this is why because it's just gotten out of hand but in conclusion, guys, no, I don't think this will affect my channel unless I'm like at the beach and there's some kids in the background. But I pretty much steer clear from these type of things. I've never been one to have kids in my content. And even my friend's kids that want to be and ask to be in the videos, now I have to be cognitive of that. So I don't know what's going to play out with this FTC thing. The internet is exploding with it. And I hope it resolves itself. But comment down below what you think and uh, 
I'll try to answer the questions the best I can. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.